Did you hear the decision today that came down from the Supreme Court? Well, I did, and I'm, I guess I'm a little bit elated. Uh, it was, I'll tell you a little bit about the case. Uh, the case was two gentlemen who made an effort to obtain concealed carry permits in the state of New York. New York then denied them this, 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 these permits on the grounds of these men not having provided sufficient proof for the need to have these concealed carry permits, to have concealed firearms on their persons. So um, they took it all the way to the Supreme Court and this decision came out in their favor today. And that I think is fantastic. I don't think the state of New York has any business or its politicians getting in between the citizens and, and their right to protect themselves in, in that fashion. This also reminds us of a very important facet of this argument, and that is that in this case, as in many other, others, th these are law-abiding citizens, right? Who bothers to go to the trouble to, to seek a permit, to, to apply for a permit to, to carry a concealed weapon or firearm, right? Usually law-abiding citizens do that, not criminals. Criminals stuff the Glock down their trousers and they go out and they bring havoc to the rest of us. The bad guys always seem to have the guns. The bad guys hide the guns. The bad guys just show up and, and create problems. We need people like this to be willing to fight these battles and, uh, and step up for the Second Amendment. And they did and they won. So here is the important piece of information that I want to parrot to you that, that, I, that I got out of this. And it is a reminder from Justice Thomas to all of us, his, his, his interpretation of that amendment, the Second Amendment. He, he reminds us that it is not a favor, that right is not a favor granted to us in any way by the government. It's not the government doing us this favor and saying, hey, look, uh, until further notice, you can carry a gun if you need. It's not, they're not doing us a favor. What the Second Amendment was, the way it was constructed was to protect us from the government infringing upon our rights to bear arms in such a way. And that's really, that's really important. That's a crucial piece of information. Let me say it again. The Second Amendment was not a favor for us of the Second Amendment was a protection of our natural rights, okay? So if you're having a discussion with someone, no matter where you stand on this, our, our, this is a natural right. I mean, and you get into this nonsense with these people that want to debate with you and say, well, what do you need, a bazooka? And these are non sequitur kinds of things that, you, that, that just don't serve anybody. Uh, but you cannot uninvent guns and you cannot stop the bad guys from possessing them. In a perfect world, you could, but a lot of things would be different in a perfect world. We wouldn't have any problems at all. So nothing would be an issue and there would be no Supreme Court, but there is because we need our rights protected. And I'll say it again, you cannot stop the, and, and you can't argue with people that can't see this. You can slap them in the face with the truth over and over and over again. And they'll say, what is that thing? Yeah, so um, it's a, I think it's a win for, for our country. And hopefully this rash of, of, of horror we've been seeing with these shootings it is, hopefully it will, it will end soon, but it, it does play in the favor of those who, who wish that we didn't have that Second Amendment protection. Um, and that's a shame. That's not the way it should be. Uh, bad things happen. Bad things always have happened and bad things always will happen. It's just part of the whole yin-yang, my friends. Look at the big picture. All right, I just wanted to point out that one interesting fact and remind you of it. Thank you for watching. Be well.